Welcome to the Claremont Museum of Art in the historic Claremont Depot. Join us for a virtual tour of the exhibition Furious Garden that dynamically juxtaposes new paintings by Karen Kitchell and Dina Caparelli and ceramic sculptures by C.J. Jillick, all of whom focus on the extraordinary power and beauty of natural flora. I'm Cher Ofstedal, and it is my pleasure to take you through the exhibition with a reading of an essay by Betty Ann Brown titled, Gardens of Surreal Grace. To quote Mae Sarton, everything that slows us down and forces patience, everything that sets us back into the slow circles of nature is a help. Gardening is an instrument of grace. Dina Caparelli, C.J. Jillick, and Karen Kitchell depict fantastical gardens in ways that compel us to consider the flora with which we surround ourselves in new and grace-filled ways. Gardens have had archetypal resonance in our domestic and ceremonial realms for at least 10,000 years. Controlling and containing nature was the basis for agriculture and thus for the survival of the species. Gardens also became fundamental to symbolic systems from Asia to Africa to ancient Mesopotamia. The Bible tells us that the Garden of Eden, site of the creation of human beings and of our alleged separation from the divine, was located between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Caparelli, Jillick, and Kitchell engage the archetypal importance of gardens to evoke their histories even as they reinterpret them and inspire us to contemplate their meanings. Caparelli explores the tradition of formally manicured gardens in large, brilliantly colorful paintings. She contrasts tightly rendered passages, shrubs and trees and flowers, limbed with almost photographic realism, with loosely painted passages that flirt with abstraction. The species of many of Caparelli's plants can be identified, but others are simply cascades of color. Viewers are invited to walk through the radiant world the artist composes. Bars of luminous pigment float over the patterned spaces, reminding viewers of the constructed nature of both the paintings and what they represent. Hillocks of textured stone suggest corroded monoliths or possibly volcanic eruptions. Deep, puce pools function simultaneously as shadows and voids. Space shifts evocatively from foreground to background, then bounces back. Caparelli's works merge Renaissance-inspired representation and the modernist practice of expressive abstract painting. C. J. Jillick creates surreal ceramic plants that might exist in a water garden on Mars, or perhaps in the hidden depths of a tropical jungle. She uses the finest porcelain to build flowers and pods that appear both alien, did this come from outer space? And familiar, doesn't this look like something I've seen before? Her leaves and petals, seeds and stamens are recognizable as such, but somehow resist conceptual identification. They are sexy in the way of a Georgia O'Keeffe flower painting, evoking genitalia and other body parts. They are also a little creepy. Serpentine fingers crawl out of shell-like sheaths. Pale tendrils curve around thick, fleshy spheroids. Jillick's tiny sculptures are finely crafted, strangely suggestive, and, in the end, exquisitely beautiful. Kitchell's Three Sisters 2020 is an immense painting on deconstructed burlap bags. 
Kitchell portrays three entities in an imagined vegetable garden, a brown and dying cornstalk in the center, flanked by two lush, verdant pillars of beans and acorn squash. Corn, beans, and squash, known as the Mesoamerican Trinity, were first domesticated by Native Americans. Kitchell was inspired by the 2017 Thomas fire that devastated her Ventura community to address nature's dominance and ultimate endurance. Her contrast of green abundance with withered desiccation points to the enduring cycles of the natural world. The artist reminds us that plants flourish and bear fruit and then die, their bodies enriching the soil beneath. The visualization of this life, death, life cycle compels us to consider its pervasive presence. French Impressionist Claude Monet once stated that his garden was his most beautiful masterpiece. Caparelli, Jillick, and Kitchell have created masterpieces from gardens they imagine. Their works slow us down, encouraging patient encounters, and thereby settling us back into the slow circles of nature. They remind us that, as Belgian-American poet May Sarton tells us, gardening is an instrument of grace. <laughs>